Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I would like to invite you on to the Hurricane M, which is my latest project within Stormworks. It is a rescue type of vehicle that it also is good for transporting stuff and other types of rescues. And um, it can also put out fire, it can take a bunch of cargo and stuff. And it's a pretty large boat, so you can also carry around a lot of people if you have rescued them but we also do have all the amenities on the back and when i say amenities i mean everything you will need to either help people out by um refueling them with a um a hose over here or if you need to get them power or just tow somebody we have those different types of things of course we also do have an electric connector for ourselves as well and fuel connectors because this thing takes a lot of fuel also, we do have a little harness if we do need to bring someone on board, and we have a large crane over here, which has some cool features. Of course, we do have a crane counterweight that will make the boat shift a little bit under it, but once you do that, moving the crane around won't affect the boat as much anymore, but I'm not going to put it out right now because we don't have anything to put on the boat. And first off, our little room right here, as we're going through the ship, we have a little storage room that is housing some different types of suits, from diving suits to firefighter suits, and we've also got some scuba gear, just in case some passengers want to go scuba diving. And we have the same thing on the other side, but first off, we're going to be going into the boat, and we have lights, of course, everywhere across the ship. And we've got the medical bay right here, so if you do take any damage out at sea or in port, wherever you are, you can get some help there. Up there is our bridge, but on each side right here we have the captain's and co-captain's quarters up here on the middle deck, or the main deck. And here we have the mess hall, which... there's our lights, we put our lights on, and we also have a kitchen off of here. So we can get our food prepared pretty well. And yeah, there's no fridge in there, but hopefully we don't need a fridge. And here is the front of the boat, but I'll be getting back to that later on in the video. So now we're going to go downstairs to the lower deck. And we can see we've got two huge batteries and some logic and everything telling us what is going on with them. But... Back here we have our engineering room, and we do run off of four huge diesel engines on here with um, two gas tanks on the base for each engine. But then again, we have a full two huge containers full of fuel under here that holds something like, I think it's like over a thousand gallons. But of course, we do have the energy production here as well. And there is our crane counterweight as well as the logic to run the ship and why we have so much logic I'll get to in a minute but we're gonna close that down there and we can go up to the crew quarters and for the crew quarters we have rooms with four bunk beds or two bunk beds four beds in total so we can hold a crew of 16 on this ship or maybe 20 if you rotate sleeping schedules. But of course we also do have the bathroom down here with toilets, showers, and a, a couple sinks at the front. But we're going to be going back up to the top of the ship now. And we're going to be going to the control center. And I'm going to show you guys why we need all of that logic down below deck. And I'm also going to be going and turning off these lights so we don't lose too much power. I'm not going to be running the electrical engines right now. Of course, when we are out at sea, we can run them to give them more fuel, but we'd probably need a fuel tanker behind us to power it. But, of course, the ship is equipped with radar, the older style, but it works pretty well. And it'll tell us what is around us within a 250 meter radius and, well, pretty cool. And, of course, we have our battery power terminal here, which will help us. And we have all our engine controls right here as well. So if we want to do anything with the fuel or with the engines in general, we have all the controls. And that is why I have the entire wall of logic down below. Because 
I needed to put multiple inputs and switch controls for everything to change where everything is being controlled by, especially for like the throttles and the clutches. But yeah, I had to have them switch from here down to engineering. So just in case I need my engineers to run everything while I'm driving the boat. Yeah, we can have that running. And for some reason, maybe a recent update changed the amount of fuel code that come in those tanks, but that's odd. I wonder if I can... Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just a decimal type of thing. Let's change that around, but... Of course, we do have a couple other seats here. On each side, we have our anchors up and down. And a spotlight control for the top two on the roof. And computers to give us a little bit more information. And to Google stuff when we don't know how to drive. And of course, we have the co-pilots and the pilot seat. And first off, I'm going to be jumping into the co-pilot seat because this seat has main control over that little water cannon we have on the front deck here. So if we do encounter any fires, we will be able to use that. Of course, we've got all of our lights, horns, and spotlight control here, as well as the internet access. So you know, if Joe is using way too much internet, we can just turn that off. Of course, we've also got a couple different um, readouts on here, like wind speed, wind direction, and amount of fog, as well as different types of collisions that may happen to us. So it's telling us right now we've got a stern collision warning, the port and starboard collision warning, and a depth warning as well, because uh, the Hurricane M is a big ship. But we also do have an overtilt warning and our GPS coordinations, as well as a clock over here. And our pilot seat does have a little cool feature to where we can move it back and forth to go up and back, just in case you want to recline while we're going around the captain. But we're going to step outside real quick before we go into the maiden voyage of the Hurricane M. And we can go down to the front deck now. You'll see the little water cannon. And we also do have controls for up and down of our anchors right here on the front of the boat. As well as our running lights and everything are up here. And right there is the door from the mess hall out to the front of the ship. We also do have these little walkways on the edge to get around. And there is our other little storage compartment. But we can walk back up to the top of the ship and get things rolling here by... I believe we have to take our engine 1 throttle and engine 2 throttle and start them up now. So now we have both drive engines running and we can put it into gear. We should be good. Yep, we're already on our way. That's pretty good. But that's the only downside of having that control is we don't actually have any control of it from the actual driver's seat. But... That's what the huge, that's what the ship looks like. Hurricane M in its finest. They'll be getting out of port here, and it looks like we may be scratching up our little um crane on that left side, but we can go and turn our gear two up so we'll get a little bit more speed. And probably gear three while we're at it. We don't have any wind yet, so it shouldn't give us too much difficulty to be going a little bit faster. It, it isn't that fast of a boat, though. It is more for rescue, um, exploration and everything. Because you can load a lot of resources on here to move around and stuff. So it is somewhat of a supply ship in a sense. But we're going to be getting out here. And maybe we'll test it out in the storm. See how... It'll do, because I haven't actually played with it in a little while, but I do want to see is our wind speed and the fog readout is correct as well. But I built the ship to be very robust, so even in a strong storm, we're not going to get much water on the deck until we hit huge waves out at this ocean, or we hit a tsunami. But I believe that volume isn't too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit right now. And we can let the thing run. Hopefully there is... There's that one island right there, but we shouldn't run into it too often. Or we shouldn't run into it at all, actually. But... Ah. I love watching the ship just go up and down in the waves. It's the best part about it. 
And of course we do have, while well, I'm thinking about it, the Halloween update back at the base. And I haven't actually, I don't know if they've added much into it other than the cool lights, the spiders. I mean, I think it's more of an aesthetic thing more so than anything for the Halloween update. But now that it is going good darker right now and the time is winding down into the night, we do need to turn on our running lights as well as the exterior lights and we can give our back lights as well i have not put in some red lights for our control room yet maybe i'll do that in a later version of the hurricane m we're also going to need these spotlights and some internet access and i can barely see what's happening in front of me But yeah, this has been the Hurricane M, my latest design, and of course this is on the workshop, I am going to have to update it to the latest version, because currently the version up there on the workshop is a bit old, it has some problems with it still, especially with the electricity and stuff, but I think I've worked out all the kinks for this one, so it should be a pretty viable ship, especially to do some missions and stuff, then again it does guzzle gas pretty quickly and we are getting a bit of tilt because of that last wave but yeah that fuel is shooting down and for some reason they changed it to a couple hundred instead of I don't know exactly why they've got the fuel in the hundreds instead of the like the tens because it used to be 70 not 700 for the max but I believe that is all the time I had today. If you guys do have any suggestions for the Hurricane M here, or you do want to download it, I'll leave a link for the ship down below in the comments. For the Ooh, I would have hit an island if I wouldn't have saw that. Let me turn off all my lights. Oh. Lose less, use less power. But anyways, that is all the time I have for Stormwork today. So if you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. Some people need me, and I need to go.